What is up guys? It's me coming to you once again. So uh, I know that we've done videos. We've talked a little bit about what this channel is going to be about, all that good stuff. Um, but I want to touch on one of our favorite things. I know that you guys know that it's one of our favorite things. Traveling, right? Out here in beautiful Oklahoma, there's so many wonderful places and things to see. Um, one of my family's personal favorite places to go is Gloss Mountain. Sometimes you'll hear people call it Glass Mountain as well. Um, it's called that because of the heavy deposits of of, uh, gypsum. Uh, now that may sound familiar, familiar to some of you guys. Gypsum is actually what's used uh, to make your, uh, as you can see, these white things that are in the background, used to make your walls gypsum board. Um, it's used, uh, sometimes you hear it called drywall, that kind of thing. But yeah, that's what it is. There's several quarries that are out there that actually um, erode some of the mountain uh, and the rock and all that out there and uh, mine the gypsum excuse me, and uh, they use that to uh, put walls, you know, in houses, and from what I understand, there's multiple applications of it, um, but again, it's in it's in this Gloss Mountain area where you can climb what's called Cathedral Mountain. If you've ever seen it or thought about it, um, you need to go ahead and take a look. Um, feel free to Google it up. Uh, you might be able to find some pictures here with us as well. We're going to try to show you guys a little bit of, of course, some of our time there, and be well prepared for trips in the future when we go out and we try to give you guys great vlogs and great live shots of what Gloss Mountain is all about. Um, there's a beautiful walkway that's out there. Um, you can really walk kind of off to the side uh, on the path. Um, it goes up to a little monument that gives you the story of Gloss Mountain, why it's called Gloss or Glass Mountain. Both are explained. Um, once you've made the round, which is just a really short, it's not even an eighth of a mile walk around that, it takes you back to Cathedral Mountain. There's a small bridge that goes over it, and basically it's kind of, uh, I want to say stairs, but I would almost attribute it to a ladder that you're going to kind of go up. Some of the climb, I mean, it's it's an incline in some spots. Some spots are more smooth than others, um, but it is definitely, uh, it, is, it is most definitely, it's a, uh, it's, it's a really good beginner's hike. So keep that in mind if you decide to go, if you want to take your pets. Um, it's a great beginner's hike, but uh, it's a lot of fun. If you got littles, I've seen littles up there. I've seen kids as small as maybe five at the very top. I think it's kind of rough. Some of the rock is eroded. You have to actually scale it, So, but we'll come back to that. Um, anyway, as you go up, like I say, it's almost like a, uh, it's almost like a ladder, um, and you'll kind of just walk up the grade. Um, there's hand holds all the way up, so it's really nice. Once you get up towards the top, um, things kind of change, and of course it's up pretty high. I don't remember the exact elevation, but once you start to get up towards the actual top, there's... Um, there's kind of, uh, they're like white outcroppings, rock, that's in there, and you have to kind of grab them and just kind of pull yourself up. Um, again, if you are physically, if you're physically fit, it probably won't be a problem, but if uh, if you're like me, I'm, I'm a pretty big guy, if you're like me, you may have to work pretty hard at it, so be well prepared for that part. But... I'm not saying that to scare you either. It's worth a shot. Go out there, check it out, and see, okay? Go up to the top. Even if you stop there, the view is absolutely gorgeous, but do not miss the summit. Trust me if you can make it up there, and hey, believe in yourself, okay? Don't get yourself killed, but believe in yourself and head for the summit. When you get up to the top, the view is breathtaking. It's uh, It kind of really shows off that Oklahoma is quite flat, not as flat as Kansas. Sorry, my kansas Indian friends, so to speak. But <laughs> it is pretty flat. Um, <clears throat> that said, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. We got us a little bit of a cold going here. Nice, nice snow out here in early January. Um, but if you go, if you go up there, you can see Winoka. If you're familiar with Winoka, and trust me, there's gonna be a whole different video all about Winoka. If if you've ever been, if you've heard of it, I know a lot of people are going to say I've heard of the Rattlesnake Festival. Winoka is an amazing place to be. Natural sand dunes here in Oklahoma um, change every day from the wind blowing, changing them around, but we're going to save that for another video. But you can see... I'm not going to say that you can see all of the dunes, but you can definitely see some of the dunes from up there. And since we're doing this video, take it from me. If you got a set of binoculars, bring them. And don't skimp on a camera. If you have a nice camera, bring it up there with you. You won't be disappointed. Um, 
there's a there's quite a bit of little trail up there. I can tell you that while we were up there, um, we spied an area that obviously an animal had kind of bedded down in, and it wasn't a small animal, a fair size animal. I'm not sure what it was. Obviously, we weren't going to pick around and hang out, but know that there are animals. Again, this is kind of out west. Um, you're well outside of the Oklahoma City city limits, so um, you know know where you are. Also, watch for rattlesnakes as you're coming up the side of Cathedral Mountain, depending on the time of year. I don't say that to scare you, just you know. Um, if you're from here in Oklahoma, if you're from the South, you know that's just something that we deal with. You don't mess with them. They don't normally bother you, per se. So, um, but really enjoy the view up there. Really take it in. You'll see the buzzards and the hawks kind of flying up over your head. The clouds look so close. The air feels different. It's much cooler up there. So, bring a jacket. Believe it or not, unless it's the middle of August, don't forget to pack the poncho. Bring yourself a jacket because uh, you're going to get a good 10 degree difference in the temperature up at the summit than you will on the ground. Absolutely beautiful, however. Um, once you're up there, um, like I say, you'll be able to walk around. There's some fencing that keeps you from going to certain areas. I presume some of the rocks are a little bit loose. Um, but it is still absolutely breathtaking and gorgeous. Spend some time up there. Beautiful place for you to get pictures taken. Anything. Just once you see it, you won't regret it. When you get back down, as you're going down, again, the grade is not terrible going down. It is a faster down, so you do have to kind of pay attention. If it's been raining, it can be slick. So uh, mind that, all right? Once you get down, what you'll notice is that off to the left of, uh, of the bridge and of the mountain itself is gorgeous gorgeous there's sand um there's tons of brush cactus it's a very desert landscape and let me tell you right now it is gorgeous that is my favorite kind of landscapes i love to be in western oklahoma new mexico uh any kind of a desert climate is just my favorite um i will tell you that they say that they don't want you to walk around over there that they worry about uh, about humans uh causing issues to uh to the area you know just it's one of those things, again, they say don't. I know we've walked over there just a little bit. Obviously, you know, we didn't cause any harm to anything. I can tell you I can tell you that there are snakes out there, so just kind of be mindful. But again, we walked around over there. We didn't go really far, maybe an eighth of a mile. Um, beautiful, we absolutely loved it. Uh, didn't have the footwear that day for it, so make sure if you're going out there, gym shoes, little hiking boots. Again, you're hiking that at your own risk because they say don't. Um, like I say, we kind of walked around, didn't go far, just a few little steps out there, but absolutely breathtaking. If you walk out there, there's beautiful photo ops. Um, and I know that there are rangers out there sometimes, so just kind of keep it in mind. Like I say, they may let you do what we did, but they're not gonna let you get too far in there. So, um, but that's really about all I can tell you. There is few.